Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. Okay, okay. So this is a time that you guys are really choosing to stay in alignment. Okay, so by staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. So right now you want to choose things that help you transcend your minds limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. So if you've been having a hard time trying to figure out what to do, all you got to do is keep following the things that really enlighten you, that make you feel that you are uh, benefiting yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. If you feel like it is giving you some type of truth and some type of light, keep going with it. Okay, because I feel right now you are also being guided to uh, pay attention, remain, um, you know, still because there's something that a uh, spirit is going to reveal for you when it comes to your path. What else for Sagittarius? This card just came right on out here. So let's see. I accept that here now is exactly where I am. And that is the place of profound learning. So you really are in the right place at the right moment gaining a lot of wisdom, even if it's been challenging or difficult, right? But remain still. The more that you can invite peace within your own soul self, it's going to ripple outwards. And this is what's important, especially when we want to create a desirable situation for oneself. Don't let anything right now test you, okay? Because you might be feeling tested a little bit or you have been, uh, continue staying steadfast and focus on a path that you see is progressing, even if it's not as fast as you want it to be, because you are in a place of having some type of patience um, and cultivating and summoning peace within yourself. What else for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Yeah, see, remain still, you know, stay in a state of observation, reflect on this moment with love, kindness and compassion and make sure you're doing that for yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. In fact, to some of you, not all of you, you may need to be a little bit more conscious of that, right? Because we've got to pay attention to our inner dialogue. Your inner dialogue is your navigation as well. So however you're feeling, However, your vibing <laughs> in life is really what's coming back to you. And remember, you know, you're at this place or coming into a place of really rippling outwards, peace, love, compassion. And what do you think that does? That's really signals out into the universe. Those things that vibrate at that same frequency as you. Give yourself a lot of love, patience, compassion and also others at this time, okay? This might be a time too where you might feel tested by others for some of you, not all of you, it just depends on your situation, but uh, I would choose your battles wisely because I really feel there's an unveiling that's really important that's happening on your own um, personal spiritual path. What else for Sagittarius? Okay, look at that wisdom. I really see you embodying this wolf spirit. <laughs> so I feel that wolf spirit wolf spirit is uh, guiding you at this time. Um, so have courage to follow your instincts. A path is being revealed. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So, you know, this is just uh, feeling a challenge, like maybe feeling a ch uh, somewhat of a challenge because we do have to remain... Um, rooted and grounded regardless what we don't agree with right and we've got to keep continuing to shine that light so don't get discouraged don't get discouraged keep continuing to expand your light which it's going to be these things that you choose right uh, i accept that here and now is exactly where i am and that is a place of profound learning right now you know this is you in the moment, expanding your awareness, expanding your light, which is only helping those things that are aligned with you find you quicker. What else? <clears throat> Abundance. Nice. See, we're just talking about things finding you quicker. 
When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. So this may be a time where we just got to get in the mindset and end in the heart space. Let's just say the mind space and the head, or excuse me, mind and heart space of just giving uh, and doing the things that we, we, we know we have to do, right? But that we also want to do without expecting anything or attaching an outcome to it. Um, because this is going to help you guys open up more uh, creative avenues for yourself, uh, actually between you and spirit, to bring forth more abundance, okay? It's not just one way. There's many ways that abundance is uh, finding you. So uh, when, your heart, when your heart's intention is to serve and do things, you know, from a full heart, which also means that you've got to be able to fill your heart up first too, right? So if you're feeling, you know, just... Just take this if it resonates for some of you Sagittarius, but if you've been feeling a little resentful or um, burnt out or maybe even on edge a little bit extra than usual, you probably are really burnt out and tired and you have you may have not been giving to yourself. Okay, you need to give to yourself. Um, let's see, oh, what else for hmm, guidance, you're not alone, <laughs> see, I just feel like uh, wolf spirit is with you, of course, your angels, God, and the, um, the masters and the teachers of the highest realms surround you, you are not alone, you are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms, okay, now, when you're being guided by the teachers of uh, the highest realms, I mean, hello, <laughs> You could just see them all standing at this like beautiful bright white doorway or something. And it's just like, I mean, it's a vast wide door. It's not a tiny door to get through. Um, and so they're just smiling on you, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel that there's a sense of will of fortune that's been happening and at play because I feel there's something about changes and having to follow your instincts at this time. But you are opening up some type of new avenue of abundance. What else for Sagittarius? Oh, look at that eclipse. Hmm. Okay. I let go. I release. I am within perfect possibility. So don't doubt your path right now. You're right where you need to be. In fact, there's no sense in wasting time or energy trying to figure out what, what happened, what could have, would have, should have, right? Or, you know, what could we have possibly done? There's nothing, actually. You know, you and a lot of you, I feel that you are at this place of really letting go, releasing, surrendering as much as possible. Oh, this one too. I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. Um, you know, I don't know. Did I say something about trailblazing your own path? I don't know if I said that, but I do see you trailblazing your own path or uh, being encouraged to keep, you know, to at least continue leading others or to not be afraid to lead lead others. Okay, Sagittarius, you got to put this in your own situation because it, it is a general reading. So you're either at one end or the other. Okay. Um, and you, you know, you're always going to feel like a student in life. And that's the attitude to have anyways, because when you are open to being a student of life, you're going to learn so much more, so much um uh, a lot more quickly as well. And you would start advancing abundantly quickly. So don't doubt your capabilities of, um, you know, leading others. And, you know, Sagittarius, I feel that it was Pisces possibly reading um, in this series that maybe you will resonate with because there was just a lot about uh, courage, strength, leadership, okay? Maybe some of you, you do have... Uh, Pisces placements in your chart, or you could be, or have been dealing with someone with Pisces, um, look at you shining your light outwards for all to see. So don't question your situation or circum circumstance. If you've been moving on from things or things have been being, or things are, you know, being revealed to you to show you or illuminate a different thing or different path or whatever, it is because there's a situation where spirit, God, Jesus, the universe does not want you to hide or uh, be surrounded by situations or people that can, uh, you know, dim your light, right? So no matter what is going on, 
I'm just seeing you standing in this, this space of things can just happen, right? Things can just coexist, positive, negative, who cares? Okay. The most important thing that you are doing is just illuminating your light outwards for others to find you. So you are in this place of attracting, not repelling, attracting, not chasing, attracting. What else for Saji? Signs. See, you're attracting signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. Notice them to continue seeing it light up stronger and stronger for you. Those little nudges that you're getting as well are signs from the universe. What else? I seek balance and grounding. Yeah, I, I really see this um, to me as like temperance, which is associated with your zodiac sign. So I just feel this is more about you being empowered and being in a place of, um, you know, surrendering to more balance in life, uh, grounding oneself and however you can. Okay. So if you've been feeling a little bit out of sorts, just try to do one or two things right now consistently that can help ground you. Cause sometimes we can get a little overwhelmed with, with trying to do too many things in different aspects of our life. And then we just, we get a little burnt out or we don't know where to start. Uh, what else for Seji? <clears throat> and remember, I'm just looking right here. It's, it's coming. Th this is really lighting up to me. The universe has been gently nudging you. <laughs> okay. Gently nudging you. Oh, travel. Ooh, long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experience for singles and career advancement for others. So I get fire sign actually with this, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, cause I'm seeing eight of wands here. So there may be something about air travel or, you know, it could be short travel as well, or just be open to, you know, some type of a distance communication here. And speaking of, <laughs> Oh yeah. And also please Sagittarius, you're seeing the universe has been gently nudging you, please. The universe is definitely communicating to you. Okay. There's a lot of, of like fire energy going on, especially when, uh, the universe is communicating to you. I feel you're being asked to kind of hold a space of stillness because there's like a lot of, you know, good energy that's coming towards you. And so it's like, Spirit wants you to really soak it all up, okay? Now, with this travel card, I am sensing that there will be probably many opportunities or there will be just a lot going on, okay? So just trust yourself in being able to handle, you know, opportunities, things that you got to take care of uh, because there may be something that, you know, sweep, sweeps you off your feet. What else? channel <laughs> you're a channel through which healing energy reaches the world so you know there's this <laughs> i shine my light uh outwards for all to see you know you are being guided by ascended masters and teachers because you are one in the making what else magnificence. And by the way, when you are this channel and you are channeling the sacred energy, um, you know, it does impact you as well. So this is why a lot of you might be feeling that, yeah, you do need to take a little bit more time out, or you do need to do something to replenish yourself, maybe more than you used to. And this is probably why there's a little bit of resistance to change because um, you know, the, the brain and the body seems to want to do the, you know, old things here, I guess, in a sense, but you know, not all of you might be feeling like that, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is a time that you are invoking new things, new habits, new ideas, invoking magnificence. You are amazing, <laughs> magnificent and unique, but most importantly, you are enough. Sagittarius, you are enough. Never forget this. What else?
expression yeah express your true self the world needs you there's a lot about you getting out there not being afraid to explore some you know territory for you to claim or reclaim whatever you know i'm just kind of seeing you just you know doing what feels right for you not holding back either because you know if you think about it when you do hold back in times where you do really want to express yourself it causes more stress <laughs> you know so be willing to just get out there you know i was getting this eight of wands actually with the travel card and you know that's also tied into communication here so there may be a lot of like back and forth communication um and you don't want to hold back okay also trust your own abilities to you know communicate to the uh you know the world that's surrounding you in the way um you know that feels authentic to you because that's what the world needs the world needs more authenticity okay <laughs> this is why thank you Sagittarius for being you I mean thank you for being here we need more authenticity to radiate into this world what else for uh Sagittarius Burnout, mm -hmm. your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Remember this thing about I seek balance and grounding? <clears throat> yeah, if you guys have been feeling a little frustrated, moody, on edge, you know, or maybe even resentful a little bit for the things that you are doing, take a little time out for yourself. It's like immediately, you know, that's like your a red warning signal, like time out. Sagittarius needs time out. Sagittarius needs to do something that Sagittarius wants to do, not has to do, okay? That's going to fuel you. But you also have been channeling a lot of different energies. So just you need you need to you you need to have maybe more um understanding with yourself uh, because it, it do, you know, others will never understand that. I mean, may, yeah, maybe a few people like I would, you know, but um you know, this is something that you just have to know about yourself because you are, uh, again, in a place where you're learning um, burnout, right? And, and it's okay. We're all, we all go through uh, situations where we do feel tired, but this is a time where, again, you are seeking more balance, grounding uh, than you are pushing and, and struggling so hard. So if that's the case, if you've been pushing and struggling so hard, You've got to figure out one thing right now, okay, that you can do that's going to ease up that struggle. Because if you want to attract and manifest desirable circumstances, situations, people, you got to start doing that. You got to start being that vibration in some aspect. So when you take that one little step to ease things up, that's actually, you know, threading something new into the divine matrix for the divine matrix to work with you, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that you always have to focus on things and, and, and get to goals. You know, the best way to just uh, do life, I feel, is just to be relaxed about it. You know, your light and your heart and your mind is already vibrating at the frequency it needs to. The universe is responding to you and how you are vibrating. So, you know, this is why there's so much about inviting peace within yourself. It ripples outwards because a lot of you are that safe haven for others right even in times where you are challenged uh, still you get you offer comfort to the world and, and that's that's what you're being guided to focus on to pursue or to nourish but you've got to nourish yourself what else Now, this won't resonate for all of you, but those Sagittarius that might be doing some type of work that they absolutely hate, but you have to do it because you have to make money, you need to, you got to, <laughs> if you want to change that circumstance, you've got to be willing to look at your uh, situation on how you're making money, your job or whatever, business, career, whatever, that you don't like, and you're going to have to find things that you do like about it, and then start watching as you start to be easy and actually appreciate where you're at, shit will start opening up for you. You'll find yourself getting out of that job effortlessly and in, 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 in a way that when you make that exit, 
it's a very respect, respectful, respectful, I can't talk. Okay, well, I, I'm like, literally, it's not going to come out right. Respect, oh my God, you guys know what I'm saying. And in a very respective manner, right? Um, and uh, that's the way you want to go, right? Because then things can just kind of fall into place for you as well, and you won't be second guessing. So out of chaos comes creation. So there's this whole thing like I was getting that's being um, bestowed on you. It's like, that's why I'm seeing all these wands like really coming from the heavens down to you, shooting down to you, right? Because you, your soul is that fertile soul to hold these special seeds that are coming from the higher forces above. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to. And then you got meditation to see more clearly. Close your eyes. Don't look at the surface. Don't look at the circumstance, right? There's, there's just something about focusing on what we need to focus on. So I am sensing maybe five of wands possibly out of this chaos here. <clears throat> But I'm also uh, getting like Ace of Swords here. So if this is like maybe Tower or, uh, hmm, some, some type of, oh, Five of Wands, either Tower or Five of Wands here to me, then we've got the Ace of Swords here with the truth. Speaking from your heart is the only thing worth listening to. And this is like a breakthrough. This is clarity. And I can see that because you're getting something about clarity here. Look at that meditation. Um, to see more clearly, close your eyes. So uh, to me, this is really signifying that breakthrough, that clarity. And yes, it may take you some mental concentration, but once you start exercising, you know, on what to concentrate, it will become second nature. What else? So take it easy. Don't feed the monkey mind. If you guys have been feeling like you had have a little monkey mind going on. Hmm. Vision, okay, trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul, okay? This is what we're talking about, your soul is fertile. <laughs> Holding all these possibilities, all right? So, you know, be patient with yourself. You don't have to force a vision. You know, you can just take it easy, right? And allow things to just kind of come to you. What else? Abundance. You got two cards. Yeah, two different cards here. Abundance. The world is abundant when you choose to see it that way. So we've got to just focus on the abundance. And, you know, th this may mean that it doesn't mean that you don't know or, or, or are ignoring the downside of things in the world. But you're certainly not going to be inundated and infused with worry, stress, the lack of, because really all it's doing is affecting your future, <laughs> you know? So what we surround ourselves by, what we focus on predominantly is really, you know, what we are creating in the future, right? So this is why there's a lot about noticing things in the past or people from the past uh, some people, they, they like to grow. They like to evolve. They're, they're not going to settle for less, you know, and they, they, some, yeah, they just go for these things. They become very successful, right? So there's just something that's being laid out for you where, um, I'm seeing opportunities, a path to money or a path to feeling abundant, uh, emotionally, you know, feeling enriched in all aspects of one's life or, or where you need to be enriched in. What else? Self-love. Remember, this is not a selfish thing. This is a, you need to, you have to do this. <laughs> you can only love others as much as you true that, you, you know, as much as you love yourself, right? So doing things like <clears throat> taking care of yourself, understanding that when you need to say no, you need to say no. That is an act of self-love, okay? When you take time to exercise or take care of your skin or carve out me time, that's all acts of self-love. <clears throat> because 
I'm seeing you deserve to be treated, you know, with honor and respect and equality here and feel supported. What else? <clears throat> Okay, take this if it resonates. Some of you, Sagittarius, I'm hearing that there, okay, this, this will not resonate for all of you, but the ones that you have like people demanding things from you and you have a hard time saying no, it's because you don't say no that they just keep doing it. They're more than capable of figuring it out on their own or doing it on their own. So you need to think about that because you're, you're running on empty or you're getting close to run on, running on empty. And it's important because you are working with uh, the higher forces ab uh, above you're meant to really take care of yourself, okay? Because if you don't take care of yourself, how are you gonna take care of everything else? Embrace the balance between earth and spirit because this is exactly where you're at. You're this channel, okay? You are a channel for which, oh, excuse me, channel through which healing energy reaches the world and you are embracing the physical and uh, the non-physical here. Embrace the in-between. Uh, what else? Vibration. We were just talking about vibration. It was kind of weird too. I don't know why I was like talking a lot about vibration with you, but here your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. Never forget this. Ever. What else? intuition yeah your, okay your intuition is a little tug that pulls you towards your light you know and here you are getting pulled towards your light and and also shining your light outwards for all to see because you're trusting and having confidence in yourself more and more you're not depending on others to validate things for you no longer and maybe some of you you haven't but some yes What else? Your, your love beyond measure. You're loved beyond measure. You can't measure it. Okay. Think of the the skills and like the justice cards, you know, you can't, you can't measure, you can't measure the love because whatever is going on with you, God, Jesus, the universe, it's the love is is already a vibrational match okay so again if we don't like something or we're letting things you know bother us which i'm not saying all of you are you know but don't let the small things get at you here okay there's more going on that meets the eye you are being shown signs what else tough and trying time so yeah, 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 yeah. Tough and tough. Okay, think long term and make decisions accordingly, Sagittarius. You got to you got to avoid negative people at all costs. Wow. And I was even talking about the Ace of Swords. And if you if you can if you know, this is a big old big old sword. <laughs> so I see that sword is cutting away uh, cords between you and negative situations and negative people. This is also an act of self love, <laughs> because you're listening to your instincts about whether something is going to be troubling or not or worth your time. So right now you do want to keep choosing peace. You want to choose things for your long term right now, not short term. <clears throat> uh, what else? And it's more than likely because you, you've got money coming towards you. You've got more resources coming towards you. So a lot of your future, um, you know, uh, abundance is being protected by these weird situations that are, you know, challenging. Seeing a butterfly is confirmation that your nature spirits are working with you. And like an eagle, it is your time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. <laughs> you know, remember you work with the highest, uh, of the, oh, excuse me, you are not alone. You're guided by the masters and teachers of the highest realms. 
guardian angels and loved ones on the other side. What else? Okay. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Nice. Have have confidence in your ability to achieve something. And also the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> when she has been, <clears throat> excuse me, when she has been taking care of herself, she's also, you know, at the same time building her confidence. You know, I feel that this is this is a time that you guys are leading or getting ready to teach others or your work's being noticed. So there's a lot of achievement here, but there's there's a lot about not caring, um, you know, as long as it's not doing anybody harm, but not caring about what others think about what you're doing to express the things that you want to express here. You know, we've got so someone who's doing quality work here or, you know, taking the time to do that quality work. There could be knowledge here. And yes, the uh, queen, this is you showing up as queen of wands. You may not be seeing everything that you want to see, but you are building and establishing something that is creating uh, dreams come true for you. And I do feel that you're ready for the next level. I'm looking at this person that's lo like leveled up here. He's on that bench so that he's standing up higher. So, you know, you're ready or are have leveled up. What else? And I do see a mentor or a teacher here. So remember, you do have mentors, teachers, masters on the other side, which they will bring to you physical ascended masters and teachers in different forms here. Okay. So be open to that because, you know, it could be another fire sign or an earth sign. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, <clears throat> Leo, Sagittarius. Focus on your dreams. I told you, you're building your dreams right here, okay? Allow the power of manifesting to start now by focusing on where you're at and where you're headed, not where you've been, what went wrong. Uh, what else? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was going to say this before, I swear. I know you got, you know, I was going to say this right now. I really was. I was going to say something about envy though, because I feel like the queen of wands is, um, you know, she can stir up some jealousy here, uh, but, but, but it's not, she's not doing it on purpose. She's just magnetic <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she could be very wild too, uh, or just very bold. Um, watch. Okay. You need to watch who you trust with your personal secrets and maybe your dreams. In fact, Sagittarius, you know what? When you start seeing your dreams become real or things start happening, just don't share it with nobody. Keep your little successes and these things to yourself, okay? I just feel that there's unnecessary, you know, uh, triggers that we could step on. And if you think of the triggers as traps, <laughs> setting up a trap here, but let's see if this is going to get Sagittarius pissed off. You know what I mean? So watch out for that. Uh, spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Remember, you're going to be able to handle things and people in a more calm and maybe compassionate manner if you do take time out for yourself and take care of you. What else? What are you waiting for? The life you dream of awaits you. See, you're b building your dreams just continue taking action. What else? And I can see your dream is to have a very balanced life. Oh my gosh, look, I was just pointing at the seek and balance grounding and look what came out. See, I told you, <clears throat> I was picking up, you know, you coming through here with the temperance because this is associated with, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, why would, why would I say Taurus? Oh my God, <laughs> Sagittarius. I was just like noticing too, I'm like getting all this information. I'm noticing the crown. Now that I'm thinking of Taurus though, I do see that bull, like, you know, the bull. And it's like, yeah, sometimes you just gotta take those horns and just go for it. You know, who cares? Anyhow, <clears throat> actually, maybe we do need to like, maybe calm down. You know, we are seeking 
um, you know, balance and grounding. It's so perfect because look, we've got one foot in the water, one foot in the earth, uh, you know, and you know, it's like as above, so below here. So the more that you can just stay calm, right? And, and don't do anything risky and don't do anything too extreme. Something is forming for you. You're literally in between worlds. I mean, this whole thing about embracing balance between the earth and the spirit is, you know, there's something being like, it's, it's like a, a heaven on earth here for you. And yes, others are going to be jealous because look, well, you know, that's just how it is. It's just people, not everybody is going to agree the things that you have, the way that you move, the way that you talk, uh, the things that you like, the things that you value, you know, and who cares, right? Who cares? You're just caring about your dreams here and staying positive because you are, I feel, you know, you don't want to mess with Sagittarius actually, okay? Because if you do, you're going to get burned. You know, Queen of Wands is going to, she's going to burn you if you mess with her or get in the way of her dreams because she's not going to hold back. I mean, once she's got her, her heart and her eyes set on a dream, um, you know, and this is where maybe she can get a little bit reckless because she literally will just go for it, you know, and there's nothing stopping her. Um, but you do need to watch out for anything or anyone that will cause any type of, you know, jealousy, because remember there, there's something that's happening here with balance and alchemy here. So we're utilizing your emotions, your thoughts as alchemy with the spiritual realm to create peace on earth, your little heaven on earth. Now it doesn't mean you don't go through challenges in life, but it's going to get easier and easier. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Sagittarius, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Sagittarius have to look forward to in the near future? And also there was that message about spending time outdoors. You know, here you are outdoors. And I see you kind of like doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and, you know in a very tranquil way. So good. Oh, see courage. Mm -hmm. I, I really just see strength card with this. You're going to be living your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and a de de determination. This is what I was just talking about with the queen of wands. <laughs> oh, so this is what you have to look forward to confidence, courage, um, you know, fire fuel to do these things as well. And to stay focused and determined. I feel like getting just one more and a time of reflection seeing all aspects of yourself through the through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self it's like really you being in the um the observer which is really tapping into you know the divine's eyes of what's really going on and seeing the beauty so some of you get ready to meet a brand new you that's emerging Something is awakening within your soul, so give it some time. Let's find out how spirit is helping you. How is spirit helping Sagittarius currently? Oh, reinventing yourself. <laughs> oh, my transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. This is how spirit is helping you. So just do those little steps. You know, if you if you feel that you can't move too big and greatly. And remember, we're not making big moves anyways. Just do little things, little tiny things that go towards this balance or that, that life you seek, right? And for some of you, I feel that it's easy and natural for you to just kind of be with what is, you know, just be open like, hey, okay, you know, and be peaceful uh, because you're right where you need to be. All right. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Love and light.